ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾ ವಹೈ ಈ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೆಂಥ್ ದಿ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಬೃಹದಾರಣ್ಯಕ ಮಂತ್ರಾಸ್ Uh, as i mentioned uh, fourth brahmana or three from 9 to 15 okay and verse number 79 over here which we are looking at in detail um, is uh, we can look at also the bhashya of adi shankara because this verse is a composite of verses 12 and then uh, mantra 12 and then 10 it comes in the opposite order but doesn't matter but that is the sum total of the mantras that are being uh, discussed now in the bhridharanya upanishad first let us chant this mantra here this verse here 79th verse and then we'll see the ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಣೈ ಕುಲಾಯ ನಿಜ ಶಯನ ಗತ ಶ್ವಾಸ ಮಾತ್ರಾವಶೇಷೈ ಮಾ ಭೂತ್ ಪ್ರೇತಕ ಪ್ರೇತಕಲ್ಪಾಕೃತಿ ಪುನಃ ಸಾರ ಮೇಯಾದಿ ಭಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಸ್ವಪ್ನೆ ಸ್ವೀಯ ಪ್ರಭಾವತ್ ಸೃಜತಿ ಹಯರಥ ನಿಮ್ನಗಾ ನಿಮ್ನಗಾ ಪಲ್ವಲಾನಿ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಸ್ಥಾನಾನ್ಯನೇಕಾನ್ಯಪಿ ಸುಹೃದ ಬಲ ಪುತ್ರ ಮಿತ್ರ ಪುತ್ರ ಮಿತ್ರ ಅನುಕಾರ ಸೊ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಲೈವ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಸ್ ದಿ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಆನ್ ಎ ಘೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಲುಕ್ a ghostly uh, meaning it doesn't become uh, disembodied so keeping that in mind and then uh, so the body is protected and uh, so that it doesn't become a preta sharira and also it doesn't become a uh, you know dog food and the food for wild animals just as a dead body might be swapne in the dream sviya prabhavat ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸ್ವೀಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಸೃಜತಿ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಸೃಜತಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಯ ಹಾರ್ಸಸ್ ರಥ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಸಸ್ ಬೈ ದಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಫನ್ ಇ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ಅ ನೈಸ್ ಚಾರಿಯೇಟ್ and nimnagaha palbalani various bodies of water krida sthanani little places to play anekani many places to play and uh, and what are they and then of course it's not enough to have kshetra you need people also and so friends uh, men women children etc and uh, acquaintances are all created so this is this this is the uh, this is the uh, verse and then uh, first we will look at the corresponding uh, mantras in the brihadaranyaka upanishad the, the words themselves and then we will go to adi shankara's bhashya to understand this uh, 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 with a little more swarasyam little more flourish ಪ್ರಾಣೇನ ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಅವರಂ ಕುಲಾಯ ಬಹಿಷ್ಕುಲಾಯಮೃತ ಸ ಈಯತೆ ಅಮೃತೋ ಯತ್ರ ಕಾಮಂ ಹಿರಣ್ಯಮಯ ಪುರುಷ ಏಕಹಂಸಃ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ನಂಬರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ 
the horses, chariots, etc. Na tatra ratha ha na ratha yoga ha na na panthan ha bhavanti. Atha rathan ratha yogaan pataha srijate. Na tatra ananda ha mudaf pramudo bhavati. Atha anandan mudaf pramudaha srijate. Na tatra veshanta ha pushkarinya ha sravantyo bhavanti. Atha Veshantan Pushkarini hi Sramanti hi Srijate Sahi Karta. What do these mean? First, let's take the verse number 12 because that's how the, the, the uh, mantra number 12 because that's how the Shatash Loki is, is crafted. So, Pranena Rakshan protecting with the body. What? Avaram Kulayam. Avaram is a very important word here. Avaram means inferior. So the body is called Kulaya, a nesting place where the person just nests, rests. So the body is a home, so to speak, for the indweller and the indweller of the body is, is as though living in the body. And so the body becomes a resting place, a nesting place and then this nesting place or resting place, what, what, what about this? What is so important about this? What is important is that compared to that which is in the body, in the body so to speak, that which abides, in, compared to that which abides in the body, the resting place is avara. This comes from a very interesting uh, uh, logic which is deployed in the Katho Upanishad and in many other Upanishads. And what is this logic? The logic is uh, very uh, deep actually. It is called uh, Samhati logic. Samhata means put together. That which is anything that which is sam, uh, Samhata means put together. And then uh, the, the logic is this, that when you put something together, like a uh, house, for example, it is not for the sake of the house that you put the house together. It is for something that is not part of that which is put together. This is the logic. So, Samhata, uh, that which is samhata, that which is put together, is not for the sake of itself. The house is for you. You are not part of the two by fours and <laughs> nails and hammers and you know shelves and furniture. That is part of the house. You are not part of the house. It is why we do Griha Pravesham because you enter that. You are not put together. You enter the place separately and you are not put together. So you are by yourself. You are not put together at all. And so that is the idea even with this body which is like a house. The house is put together with various uh, compartments, parts, etc, etc. Limbs. Uh, extremities, so many parts, it's all put together. But for whose sake it is put together? Just like a house, it is put together for the sake of that which is asamhata, not put together. Because, you know, this is, if you take the house logic, it's like this. Somebody builds a house, buys a house, and then if you ask them, are you planning to stay in it? They say, no, 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 I'm not planning to stay in it. Oh, are you going to give it for rent? No, no, I'm not going to give it for rent. Oh, are you going to make some money and sell it? No, no, I'm not going to do that either. Then what for is this house? I'll just keep it locked up. That's not the idea. The house is for the house's sake. No. Anything that is put together is to serve the purpose of that which uh, as though enters, which is not put together. So here the word avaram, meaning inferior, in the Vrihadaranyaka Upanishad mantra uh, is, is important because from this logic that which occupies 
the unput together entity which occupies that which is put together is the one that is more superior. It is more superior to that which is put together. Because, why? Simply because one is Satyam, the other is Mithya. Don't say, oh, the Kulaya, the house is Satyam. No. The house is Mithya. Whatever is put together is Mithya. It's finite. And then whatever is not put together is of course superior because it is infinite. And then this infinite is as though being quote unquote housed within the, within the finite. But it's only as though. Because that which is uh, as though uh, abiding in the finite. In, the, in, the, in a finite home is or uh, happens to be all pervasive, happens to be uh, everything, happens to be the cause of the universe, happens to be whole, limitless, free. Whereas the kulaya, the nest, etc., is inferior, the nest or the body, whatever you want to call it, inferior. Why? Because whatever is put together, falls apart. Whereas the asamhata, that which is not put together, does not fall apart. And if we look at the entire jagat of all the names, all the forms, there is only one thing and one thing alone that is not put together. It is Atma. Oh, but what about the oceans? Yeah, it is put together. That's why it has parts. It has a shore, it has this, it has that, it has uh, different kinds of tides, it has foam, it has, uh, you know, bubbles, waves, tsunami, breaker, it's all put together. Oh, but I didn't put together. Yes, we know. <laughs> you didn't put together. Bhagavan put together. So it's either uh, Ishvara Srishti or it could be Jiva Srishti. If it is some kind of a house, it is Jiva Srishti. Of course, helped by Ishvara Srishti. And so like this, the, the whole thing, it's, it's, it's fascinating because when you look at this, when you look at all the things put together, there's only one thing that is not put together. What is that? You. Only you. No one else. Nothing else. So, now what to do? That, that's why the Kulaya is called Avara. So then, uh, and why is it Avara? Because that which is sitting in this resting place, nesting place, is all pervasive. How do we know? <laughs> in the dream, Bahish Kulayad Charati, it leaves this resting place. Only the body is there, maintained by the prana, so that nothing happens to it. And then the consciousness, so to speak, takes off, takes off on a creative spree. It as it were, leaves the resting place. It's no longer confined or, or consigned to this finite uh, holding, uh, you know, uh, placeholder called the kulaya, called the nest. It as it were, leaves the nest. How do we know it leaves the nest? Because the body, the nest, is situated in a, in a particular place. Let's say the body is situated sleeping in an apartment in Manhattan. And then what? The person is in the dreamland thinking about invoking, uh, what? Invoking this, uh, you know, some, some place in South Africa. Imagining that they are visiting South Africa. <laughs> so therefore, this, this Kulaya is no longer a, a prison for the person in the dream state because the person has transcended the body, so to speak, and is on a creative spree with the raw materials of uh, the uh, Vasanas, Samskaras, Ityadi. Now, so Bahish Kulayad Amritaha Charitva. Amritaha Charitva. So, they, they will see this more in detail. So, Charitva having moved 
having moved around in the realm of the immortal, leaving the mortal coil, so to speak, saha iyate amritaha yatra kamam kiran. So saha iyate means uh, the, so the person is, so to speak, out of the gross body, uh, not in contact with the demand, in, in the sense that one is not in contact with the demands of the body, not conditioned by the activities of the body. So the, so the mind is acting independently, so to speak, of the body, disconnecting, as it were, uh, transcending the limitations of the body-mind senses. And then, the, and then uh, so the mind, as it were, independently acts moving out along with the force of the Atma, so to speak. Atma doesn't move out, but as though. As though it is there in the body, but because it is all pervasive, it as though looks like it, it uh, blesses the mind to go out. And, and why? Because the, the, you know, the, it is immortal in nature. And then, uh, and then it, uh, um, it, it, why does it need to go out? Because it's tired of staying in two years of the pandemic. And so therefore, the dream life of everybody has become very active. Because one is more or less has been in, in some kind of a house arrest. And so therefore, what? So therefore, it moves out as it were. Why does it move out? Because it has desires to fulfill. But why can't these desires be fulfilled in the waking state? Although, <laughs> because the waking state is not enough time. So many desires, so little time. That's why there is no time to fulfill all this in the waking state. So therefore, the dream state is conjured up. You, you have a different place to visit. Just like in the waking state, you say, I'm tired of just being here. I need a vacation. I need a vacay. So you book some, uh, you know, resort and go there, leaving your home. So similarly, the mind with the force of those desires, because one vacation was not enough. The way the, uh, you know, first of all, you couldn't find the resort. It was very, very traumatic to reach there. Then what happened? On the way there, you hit the, you know, you hit the road and ran into traffic. On the way back also, you had to beat the traffic, so to speak. And then you were very tired. And then you needed another vacation because of this vacation gone bad. And there also having reached there, the, the resort said that they have lost your reservations. So <laughs> you, you had to, uh, you know, scramble to make something work and stay at an inferior place, not at all what you had planned. So, so it was a vacation gone wrong according to you. And so therefore, never mind we can make up in sleep. How can you make up in sleep? <laughs> in the dream, where there are no limits, there is no traffic other than what you put for it. There is no, there is nothing there happening. And it is all you, you, you alone. So you create an internal world, blessed by the Atma, which is powered, uh, which powers the mind, in order to dig into its basket of memories and desires and create a new vacation for you. You want a, you want a new vacation. Earlier, it was just in this country because that's all in the country that you stayed in. Because that's all you could uh, realistically afford. But now it is you can even go abroad while the body is simply lying, breathing on the bed. Okay. So that's why the, this is called Amritaha Charitva. So, in, you know, it, uh, it, it, it moves in the realm. Uh, you know, it, 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 it is immortal. The mind here, blessed by the Atma, the, the, the Atma is immortal. And then it moves in this, uh, this immortal, uh, um, uh, you know, it moves in the, in these subtle realms. And then having moved in the subtle realms, what does it do? Yeah, saha iyate, iyate moves around, amritaha, saha amritaha. Amritaha san, being immortal, being infinite, iyate moves where? Yatrakamam, 
wherever the desire takes the takes the mind the mind goes saha iyate yatra kamam and so uh, so what does it do this is you know so there therefore whatever you know all the ingredients of the dream whatever you could not have in the waking state or whatever you could have but you want more of uh, all these are uh, all these are generated and then um, so what what happens uh, so the mind you know in a way is become uh, is become uh, what's that you know the the fulfiller of the desires in a subtle form and then we go to number 12 natatra rathaha there are no chariots there no vehicles there and nothing to no horse power literally to power the vehicles no roads for the vehicles to move and therefore atha rathan rathayogan pathah srijate so the person creates for themselves what all kinds of things to experience they create uh, rathas they create rathayogas uh you know they they create chariots horses horses chariots and then what else and then roads all these are there mudaha pramudaha bhavati atha ananda so then uh, so there in the in the sleep state in the dream state there is no ananda how can there be ananda you know ananda is something that you bring to the table there is no ananda as such and so then the, what do you do there you you create the ananda and various uh, you know levels of ananda mudaha pramudaha etc na tatra veshantaha pushkarinyah sravantyah bhavanti so there are no bodies of water lakes uh, um, streams rivers atha veshantan pushkarinihi sravantihi srijate so therefore the person creates a because the last vacation was on a land locked area so now this vacation the dream vacation uh, can be in a place which is uh, which is what which is which is full of bodies of water because that's what the person missed that's what the person wanted and so creates various bodies of water to enjoy in the subtle mind and then um, and then earlier we had already seen how does it create svena bhasa this is uh, verse number 9 in the, in the same section uh, 439 svena bhasa svena jyotisha prasvapiti atra ayam purushah svayam jyotir bhavati it's just such a miracle svena bhasa by the light of that consciousness awareness uh, pra, the, the person went to sleep and then in in this sleep the person is just consciousness and then assisted by the mind which is in a uh, in a, in a half awakened state assisted by the mind this swayam jyoti purusha this purusha this this person uh, you know goes places in order to fulfill various desires so from here we'll go to the bhasha adi shankara's bhasha of this verse very very nice so we'll we'll be seeing that a little bit okay so let us see where it is yeah sah jeevah adi shankara says yatra yada prasvapiti where the person uh, it says yatra here but yatra is converted into yada when the person sleeps nidram karoti prasvapiti means nidram karoti goes to sleep tada asya sarvavatah sarvam avati rakshati iti sarva sarvavan tasya sarvavatah uh, there is a little footnote by anandagiri sarvam avati iti sarvavan very beautiful karya karana sanghatah yadva सर्वावान मीन्स वॉट इट्स नॉट वॉट यू थिंक यू नो 
the, the, the one that wields everything is called Sarvava. No, here it's called a specific meaning. Sarvam Avati, the Sarvava. The Ava at the end is, uh, the, is, is the word for protection. The, the one who protects everything. Okay, Sarvava. Sarvam Avati, the Sarvava. So, Sarvavan, Sarvavataha means for this Sarvavan, for this protector, uh, you know, for this protector of everything. And what is this everything that is being protected? The body, mind, sense complex. Lying on the bed is being protected. So, that then this Sarvavataha, Sarvam Avati Rakshati, Sarvavan, Asya Sarvavataha, for this person. Who is this person? Paramatmanaha. <laughs> I don't think the body is protecting itself. I don't think the mind is protecting the body. It is uh, Adi Shankara, of course, was trained to, uh, to remind us, was immediately to remind us what? You know, that this is uh, this is Sarvavan. This is the this is the Sarvavan, the one who protects everything, and is what? Ishvara, Paramatma. So, in the dream state, it is with the help of this, uh, uh, with the help of Bhagavan uh, alone, the, that powers the mind, the person goes. So, Paramatmanaha, Matram Ekadesham Adaya Grihitva, Swayam Vihatya, Swataha Eva, Sushupti, uh, Sushupti Avastham Tyaktva, Tatha Malikam, Vasana mayam swapna deham swayam nirmaya swena swaya bhasa swa samarthena jyotisha swaprakashena swapiti. So, for this Paramatma, what, have, what happens? Matra vekadesham adaya. There is a single minded, you know, the mind here assisted by Bhagavan. Assisted Bhagavan here is that consciousness with the ability to create, take back everything. So here the dream world is created by you, no doubt, but the presence of Bhagavan is there. Otherwise, the you could have chosen the dream. You don't really completely and fully choose the dream. <laughs> you dream whatever you 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 dream, you know, the, and then you don't choose the the length of the dream. That is also decided by Bhagavan. And you don't choose which dream to come which day. Someday you want a nice dream, a nightmare may come. That is why it's Adi Shankara very, very uh, cleverly and in a timely way says, so, you know, we, it is, it is, it is Ishvara. It is, uh, the dream is, even though we call it technically Jiva Srishti, but it has the hand of Ishvara in it because this Jiva Srishti, whether in the waking state or in the dream state, the Jiva Srishti is happening in tandem with or uh, in the backdrop of Ishvara Srishti. So the Ishvara Srishti is Baliyan. It is, uh, it is the one that presides. It is the one that uh, takes over. It is the one that decides. In, in that, you know, supposing if you think of two circles, the bigger circle, one circle inside the other. The bigger circle is Ishvara Srishti. Inside that, there is a little Jeva Srishti. And you feel so powerful. You say, oh, I can do this. I can do that. Ha! Huh? Wonderful. Great. And then you find you can't do anything at all. You that, That's why you can't commandeer your dreams. In fact, you have no power. And yes, you know, you, the, the, the uh, what is that called? The raw materials are used, no doubt, from your, from that very memory and from your endless desires, the raw materials are uh, taken, uh, you know, taken, uh, uh, you know, they, they comprise the dream. They comprise the dream world. They comprise the dream reality. But how they are used, you don't have a say. If you could engineer your own dream, it would look a lot different. And you won't be at all surprised because that's exactly what you wanted and that's exactly what you got. But then whenever the dream comes and you wake up and you happen to remember the dream, then you are constantly surprised. Oh, how, how strange. How could this dream come? I didn't know I could dream this. So that means what? <laughs> Adi Shankara very aptly reminds us Ishwara's hand is there in the dream. 
because all this this whole dream your your own srishti uh, with your own uh, the the whole dream which is called your own srishti your own creation with your own mind and your own desires and your own memories is not happening in a vacuum it is in the backdrop of this srishti and in fact that which powers your srishti is ishvara srishti so there just like ishvara creates you also appear to be creating and what are you creating here and how let us see let i just seem to have lost this text oh here here we go one second yeah here we go so uh, paramatman ha matram ekadesham adaya uh, so uh, you know ekadesham adaya means with that single idea of creating another world swayam vihatya um living you know living swayam vihatya means sushupti avastham tyaktva leaving behind the sleeping state then what does the person do tatha mayikam takes on a mayik body just like ishvara ishvara is what brahman with a maya body maya kaya is ishvara and so the jiva also is like ishvara in the dream albeit an inhibited interrupted finite form of this ishvara operating under the laws of ishvara and so therefore inhibited so but nonetheless not defeated inhibited but not defeated decides to create create its own um, world and then what happens in that world what happens what happens is is he is uh, no surprise because takes on a mayik body because in the dream you are there in fact everything is you but you give yourself a separate body do you not and then you say okay this is me this is the tree this is the friend this is the boat this is the bodies of water this is a horse this is a chariot but the i am sitting in the chariot so there is a me there and that, what is that me it's a mayik me mayikam mayikam here here you know for uh, ishvara's mayik body is ishvara's body the body of ishvara if 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 ishvara is invoked with a certain body and mind like a devata that is what is the what is it made of it is made, you know that that is uh, that body is all knowledge it's a body that is all knowledge but th this dream body is also your own knowledge but inhibited by so raga dvesha etc so therefore it's a raga dvesha body inhibited by atma agnyanam so it's a raga dvesha body it's a raga dvesha body and then in this raga dvesha body what does the person do vasanamayam svapna deham and it's a subtle body swayam nirmaya having created svena svaya bhasa having created how swaya bhasa so by the the light of that co uh, uh, consciousness svasamarthena jyotisha by the light of one's own consciousness svaprakashena svapiti and so by the light of one's own consciousness one creates all kinds of things what are they what do they you know uh, 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 what are they created will come soon but here adi shankara makes it a point to say tatra ayam purushah svayam jyotihi bhavati in this uh, state the person is all consciousness tatra tasmin swapna samaye so in this there in the the dream state is a blank slate there are no uh, no you know no vehicles no na 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 ratha ha na ratha yoga ha ashwadaya ha no horses na panthan ha ratha marga ha no roads parantu asau rathan ratha margan patha ha srijati but the person here with this kind of a vasana maya body a body built on uh, you know built on memory and desire creates and then na tatra anandaha sukha visheshaha so there is no specific ananda ananda here is not atmananda but various kinds of ananda sukha visheshaha specific objects of happiness are not there there mudaha adi shankara has a nice definition 
small small inferior anandas pramudaha little better ananda putradi uh, labha harshaha cha uh, aparam aparam means after after the gain of a putra putradi putradi labha harshaha means the, the after the the, uh, the darshana the seeing of a child uh, once of spring that has been away from home for some time. Oh, the face is so, the face becomes the face of the parents, uh, uh, become like a lotus, so happy. <laughs> I uh, I remember very well studying this particular bhashya with Pujya Swamiji. You know, he had his own way of explaining and he, when he encountered this word putra di labha, the darshana harshaha, he, when he looked at that word, that compound, he immediately did a little note and he, um, because there were all these, you know, uh, Brahmacharis sitting there and studying and Pujya Swamiji said, not, you know, nobody seeing, no parent seeing you straggling home from the ashram with your white clothes turned grey and then carrying one jhola. Jhola means one kind of a catch-all bag. No parent will be happy to see you. It's not this kind of uh, offspring that Adi Shankara is talking about here. It's people who are in the world successful, earning, studying. The, that kind of an offspring, the, 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 the parent's eyes become like lotus flowers, very happy and blossomed to see the child. So I thought it was very funny. So anyhow, so putradhi uh, labha harshah harshah cha aparam swayam uh, anandadin srijati. So here creates all the gradations of ananda. And then the tatra veshantaha palvalani nasravanti nadhyaha santi. So no, no, no saramsi, ponds, tadagani, lakes. No ponds, lakes, rivers are there, but that does not stop this person enjoying from various bodies of um, uh, water. Then the very important question Adi Shankara asks in the Bhashya. Kahasrijate, who is it that creates? Sahikarta antaratma. That atma, pratyagatma, that atma which obtains as the truth of the body mind sense complex alone is the is the uh, creator. Atha dainandina svapna dashayam pranena panchavrittinam panchavrittinam koliyate kauliyate tat kulayam shayana bhumau sannivishtam shariram rakshansan anyatha mritabhrantihi syat. So this he takes the la the first part of this uh, uh, towards the end he takes the bhashya. So he says dainandina means day to day. Dainandina svapna dashayam in the day to day dream state. Pranena with the help of the five pranas. Kauliyate uh, tatukulayam in, in which the pranas have uh, you know resolved that is called the nest uh, and that is the, the body. Shayana bhumau sannivishtam shariram rakshan. So, protecting that body lying on the bed. Anyatham ritabhranti hisyat, which is as good as dead to the world. Dead on the bed, as good as dead on the bed. Swayam amritaha amarana dharma kulayad vahihi charitva. Swayam uh, itself immortal, leaving the mortal body on the bed, itself immortal, uh, 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 moving around outside of this nest. Sharirantar gate api, uh, antargato api, akashad bahye pivasan, yatra kamam, yatha kamam, bhinna padam. So, uh, it, it keeps on even like space. It is not confined to one body in this dream state. It is free to go everywhere and do whatever it wants and then um, create all kinds of uh, all kinds of things based on the memory and based on the desire. These continue to be the raw materials for this creation. Very, very interesting. Very, very nice. And then, so, uh, uh, so this is the uh, this is the verse number 79. 
and uh, what is that? Yeah, Kridasthanam. Uh, uh, Kridasthanam means it's a play, but it's, you know, it's a, this thing of play. It's a place of play and then the place of play needs all kinds of playmates and so you create the playmates and therefore enjoy. Now back to Shatashloki. Now the next verse, verse number 80, which is the concluding verse from 75 to 80, concluding verse which is the uh, which is an in-depth analysis of the dream state. Matanga Vyagra, Matanga Vyagra Dasyudvisha, Duraga Kapin, Putra Chitta Prayasi Bihi, Kridan Naste Hasanva Viharati, Puhashin, Puhachin Mrishtam, Mashnati Chanam, Lake Chatvam Praptavanas Myahamiti, Puha Chit. Chankita Sviya Lokat Aste Vyagra di Bhitya Prachalati Kuhachid Roditi Grasyamanaha. Very nice. So, here, you know, up till now, the dream state that was described was very, very pleasant. And now, if somebody asks, What about nightmares? I never have a good dream. I only have terrible, terrible dreams. How come? The Shatashloki is not talking about my experience. It's glossing over all the nice. Uh, it's glossing over by discussing everything nice. And what about difficult and terrible dreams? What to do with them? And what, what is all this about? So here it is. Uh, uh, you know, it is this, this one addresses the the, the alternative. Um, what is that? The alternative um, uh, cycles. The alternative cycles of good dream and bad dream. Here it is very nicely talked about. Okay. So, so in the dream, what happens? Uh, Matanga elephants. So Srijati. Srijati, what does the word Srijati the Antaratma Srijati? The Antaratma creates what? Matanga elephants. Vyagra. Vyagra means tiger. Dasyuhu, Dasyu means all kinds of riffraff. Uh, people who are created primarily for the purpose of giving you vairagya. Why? Because they go away with your uh, with your uh, belongings. Dasyuhu, thieves, decoits, uh, these kinds of robbers. Dasyuhu, you know, Dasyuhu means kind of unsavory elements. Then, uh, Dvisha Duraga. Dvishad, uh, uh, Dvishad, uh, Dvishad means uh, this thing, you know, the uh, uh, enemies. Dvishad. Dvishad means enemies. The thing, the people who hate you and you also cannot stand them. And in fact, they are dangerous because they can, you, you consider them dangerous because they can come and do something. And so, people who are inimical to you, Dvishad. Uraga. Uraga means what? The snake. Serpents one can see in the uh, in the dream. Kapin. Monkeys. Monkeys. Monkeys also uh, you, you, you can see in the dream. So the first, uh, you know, so uh, until Kapin, uh, you know, there's all these difficult, uh, you know, situations. Elephant. Elephant can be good or bad. I mean, if it's out, it's a, if it's a wild, uh, what is that called? Herd of elephants. And then what happens to the wild herd of elephants? They are out to get you. Where? In the dream, of course. They are out to get you. And in this wild herd of elephants, here you are <laughs> being trampled. It's not a good dream. And so that's, the, the, that's gone. And then what else? So this wild herd, herd of elephants, uh, then... Um, in this wild herd of elephants, uh, then, uh, uh, you know, tigers, thieves, enemies, snakes, monkeys, all these are difficult things. Then, the last one here, which is given, is, is, a, is a pleasant uh, pleasant aspect of the dream. And what is that? Preyasi. Preyasi means a loved one. So, the loved one. So, the person... Kridan uh, aste as those sports, as those sports uh, with uh, all these things. 
you can't really say you're sporting with a tiger but why not maybe in the dream there is it's it's all a sport so one is kind of sporting with the tiger one is uh, you know sport means it's not real that's the idea so one is uh, it's not that one is playing with the tiger but it's more like it is a kind of a uh, it's a kind of a game and uh, which is revealed upon the upon waking that it is indeed a kind of a game so matanga vyagra dasyu dvishat uraga kapin kutrachit kutrachit means once in every great while uh, prayasi bhihi along with one's loved ones kridan aste kridan aste means keeps on delving in that keeps on playing in that hasan va viharati kuhachit kuhachit mrishtam asnati cha annam so mrishtam asnati cha annam so sometimes rise sometimes is happy laughs mrishtam annam means sweet dishes in the dream there is only desserts to eat all kinds of sweet and delightful dishes uh, you know is uh, the person laughs talks enjoys eats tasty food or is trampled by the elephants and tigers and is <laughs> encountering thieves enemies snakes monkeys etc and then what sometimes the person mlej hasan va hasan va means laughing crying viharati um, you know keeps on moving laughing eats uh, eats good food mlej chatvam praptavan asmi aham iti thinks of himself herself as uh, oh my god nobody loves me at all <laughs> i have become a pariah nobody cares nobody is 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 at all here caring for me and i have been outcasted by everyone people are not uh, i'm not part of any group i don't feel like i belong and then what then as as one feels like one doesn't belong the person shrinks away in shame from what from all the loved ones so mlechatvam mlechatvam means a, a a a status of being away from everybody due to some disrepute etc uh, you know the mlechatvam praptavan asmi aham i have gained this iti kuhachit chankitah doubting this sviya lokad aste so we, you know the the person uh, goes away from one's own people sviya lokad aste vyagradi vyagra vyagradi bhitya prachalati prachalati means gets agitated gets agitated by the uh, fear of tiger etc kuhachit rodati sometimes cries why grasyamana because the person imagines i have been caught by the tiger the tiger has picked up me along with my t-shirt and is dragging me to its den to to be lunch where in the dream of course then kuhachit rodati sometimes cries or sometimes Uh, thinks uh, himself herself to be caught by the tiger caught by the snake bitten by the snake all these things we have to say caught by the tiger bitten by the snake and uh, cries 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 and what else you know this is what happens cries and screams and so this this is you know not much else to say because this is just a description of what happens in the dream state and we have looked at this at length uh, in in uh, in in many many ways and so uh, we can uh, look at now why this whole thing has been uh, uh, talked about in such at such great length and that is revealed in verse number 81 very beautiful यो यो दृग्गोचरार्थोति सतदात्मस्वूपत्पति नु युक्ति का ज्ञान हेतु रौप्याभासो मृषव स्फुरति च किरण ज्ञान ज्ञान तो भोभुजंगो रज्वा ज्ञान ज्ञानमीश निमेश सुखभयो 
ദൃഷ്ട സൃഷ്ടം കിലേതം വെരി ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ So number 81 is not at all about the dream state. Now we have arrived at the waking state. Why are we now discussing the waking state? Because in the uh, in the tradition there is a connection the dream state is analyzed at great length to show the connection between the uh, between the sleep state and the dream state. because just as you see things that are quote and quote unreal in the dream state that same kind of an idea you need to have in the sleep state as well yeah, sorry in the waking state as well the same kind of a vairagya that you have towards the dream state of course after you wake up you are dispassionate and objective about the dream state and you say oh this was just a dream thank god or even if you were having some pleasant food in the dream yes it was just a dream you are able to falsify that very very clearly now what remains to be done is to do that for the waking state and so in the waking state also there is jeeva srishti this is what is the whole idea because the raga dveshas which are active at night or whenever one sleeps and then morph into the dream state the the strong prejudices and preferences uh, they are also active in the in the waking state because in fact the waking state becomes the receptacle the the uh, the, the the impressions gathered in the waking state become the uh, material raw material for the dream state because in the dream state you are not going to gather impressions the impressions are already gathered <laughs> i hate this i love this it's already there in the waking state and what you hate and what you love comes out in the dream state it's not in the dream state you are creating uh, raga and dveshas and and pointing to things in the jagat and saying i love this i hate this that's already preloaded in the head and so therefore the dream state becomes uh, a very educative for the waking state because once we realize that the ingredients for the dream state are coming from where the waking state if the ingredients of the dream state are coming from the waking state and if you are having difficult dreams then you, do you do you keep on looking at the dream or do you analyze what is happening in the waking state <laughs> naturally you analyze what is happening in the waking state naturally because this is where the problem is the problem is not in the dream state the problem is in the waking state and so the waking state has to be analyzed and when the waking state is analyzed then you see oh here there is subjectivity and the raw material for this subjectivity is strong prejudices and preferences mixed with a dollop of atma agnyanam yes uh, in atma agnyanam raga and dveshas cook no atma agnyanam is the ghee in which the raga dveshas cook okay and so that is what happens and th- this is the khichdi in the in the waking state alone you have the mistake made upon the self the mistake that is made upon the self is on the waking state is is in the waking state alone oh but i i had a dream that i was you know i did not belong anywhere yes the that was because of the memory and the desires in the waking state and the doubts in the waking state are transferred to the dream so therefore what so therefore this is exactly what the, the, the problem is so it's the analysis of the waking state yields some very interesting things and we don't have the time to see all of it today but then we uh, you know look at it and uh, you know in the subsequent uh, uh, classes so the analysis of the waking state state shows the following first is that it's not different from the dream state why in the dream state you you create and in the waking state also you create what confusion <laughs> you create all kinds of subjective impressions why because of atma agnyanam self ignorance you are not able to look at what it is for what it is 
So you create confusion by trying to add what it is not and seeing it as what it is. So, you know, I see it because it is there, is objectivity. It is not there, but I still see it. That is subjectivity. And so for this, we have some stock example, like uh, a pleasant subjective uh, projection. These are all projections. So the waking state is full of subjective projections, which carry over to the dream state. And so in the waking state, there are some stock examples for pleasant and unpleasant projections. So the pleasant projection is what? The, the mirage water. The sun is falling on the sand in a, in, a, in a particular angle. And then the sand dunes also have waves because of the movement of the air. And so then the, the sun falling on the sand and the little uh, which iron filings in the sand glistening in the sun give the impression of waves, water, give the impression of a wonderful lake. Just like in the dream you created a lake. <laughs> Here also in the waking, you are walking in the desert and you don't know what came over you because you booked this desert safari and then you feel very deserted by everybody and then you're walking in the desert you're tired and you know you're safe and you won't end up in a, you know like a, in the form of a skeleton you know that but still you are what you know you are wanting this experience and in wanting this experience you just go walking and then the the sun does a number on you and then what do you see you don't see anything else you see what you want to see you only see what you want to see and you want to, the, the water is of course missing in this scenario. So you see mirage water, pleasant projection. Then what? Our, what is the uh, example of an unpleasant projection? Rope snake. <laughs> example of a difficult and an un, unpleasant uh, projection. So you see, the, you don't see the rope properly because it is uh, again distorted. There it was due to too much sunlight and the angle in which the sun was hitting the, the sand dunes. But here it is not due to not enough sunlight. But still the vision is distorted. And because of it you mistake the, uh, the, the harmless horse pipe lying in the yard or a rope, piece of rope to be the snake. This is the mistake you make. And then what happens? So then this is the, this is the unpleasant projection because this projection makes you run away. It totally makes you run away. From what? From, from this, this perceived snake. And then one more example of a pleasant projection is you are walking on the beach again and something is very, very shiny. You think it's a silver dollar, ten dollar silver coin and then you run towards it. And when you run towards it, what happens? <laughs> it it uh, turns out to be a worthless piece of mother of pearl. Mother of pearl. Even you didn't get the pearl. No prarabdha to get the pearl. Only the mother of pearl. And the mother of pearl is, is not very costly. It's because it's found everywhere. And it's not uh, precious at all. So the mother of pearl mistaken for the silver. One more projection. And so what these projections do and how they affect the waking state and how to come out of that and how to, you know, how to be free of these projections, we will see next time. Next time is two weeks from now because next week we are having this uh, Shivananda online something. We'll study a small Upanishad uh, from the 17th to the 21st. The details are on the website. And uh, so you can uh, log on to that. It is uh, how to cross uh, Kali Yuga. How to cross Kali Yuga. Yeah. yeah, make an announcement. No problem. Make an announcement. I'll say the closing prayer, then you can make an announcement. Om Pur Namadav Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachyate Pur Nasya Pur Namadagya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om yeah, there is an announcement from Harinder and the link to join the classes next week is also here. Go ahead. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, tomorrow evening we'll have a special puja for Guru Purnima. Happy Guru Purnima to Swami Niji. So we invite everyone. I attach the flyer. So if you would like to have your names uh, included, some of you already emailed, you can email uh, 
to the email given in the flyer and we'll look forward to seeing you via Zoom. And the link is in the flyer as well. Thank you, Swamini Ji. Thank you. Take care. All the best.